Democracy is defined in the Cambridge Dictionary as the belief in freedom and equality between people or a system of government based on this belief, by which power is either held by elected representatives or directly by the people themselves. One fundamental principle of democracy is that it allows people to participate in decisions that affect their lives. So then why don't students have the right to vote on the very thing that they have to wear 190 days of the year? Hi, my name is Ella, and my belief is that our current uniform rules are outdated, overbearing, and unnecessary. Girls are repeatedly told that the reason they must cover up is to avoid distracting their male peers or making their male teachers feel uncomfortable. This sends a powerfully negative message. It not only makes girls more self-conscious about their body image, but it also makes a girl or guy more likely to develop body dysmorphia, which, if you are unfamiliar with the term, is when you spend a lot of time worrying about the way in which your body looks. It can be disturbing and distressing for students to be seen in such a way, and there is normally a strong element of shame involved. Girls are taught that their bodies are dangerous, powerful, and sexualized, and that boys are biologically programmed to objectify and harass them. Well, I know for a fact that if we, the students, we were able to put a say into how short our skirts and shorts could be, it would let us have a voice against these archaic rules. While searching for statistics on how having an inappropriate uniform does not affect the way in which students learn, all I could find were two different things. The first being articles written by students discussing how their uniform made them feel like they couldn't express themselves or how they had been told that they could not wear something because it was too revealing. The second was statistics and surveys done by parents and teachers that were used to discuss how a school with the correct uniform was more appealing to send their child to, and how it prevented bullying. This to me seems to be a reoccurring pattern by which the adults, yet again, are the ones deciding everything for the kids. So, I decided that I was going to do my own survey. I asked 80 senior school students here at Kingsley whether they thought they should be able to have a say on their uniform and whether they thought it would benefit them. And according to that survey, 97.5% of Kingsley senior school students said that they thought it would be more than beneficial. Some schools have finally understood this and have made being democratic part of their school life. For example, at Swain Park School in Essex, pupils are regularly involved in panels on subject reviews. Pupils and teachers meet to discuss classroom practices, and these sessions inform decisions about how the curriculum is organized. Pupils provide constructive feedback, which assists staff in planning their lessons, and in turn, they become more actively engaged in their learning. At Blue School in Somerset, over 300 students are involved in the school forum, which is divided into 28 teams, each dealing with a different aspect of school improvement, ranging from Africa link and allotment to waste and recycling. They actively experience the reality of running a project. Democracy in schools prepares students for when they get to vote and gives them the chance to suggest their ideas to help their education. So, if we, Kingsley, started to take inspiration from Blue School and Swain School, it would not only make students more productive, but also happier. And isn't that the main goal? So now for a quick recap. Democracy lets people to have a vote on decisions that affect their lives. Telling a girl that her uniform is too revealing not only sexualizes her, but shames her as well. 97.5% of Kingsley Senior School students believe that they should have the right to have a say on their uniforms. And finally, that democracy in schools prepares students for when they get to vote on the big things. So, 
I hope that if you've learned anything from my speech, it is that not letting students have a say on their uniforms is outdated, overbearing, and unnecessary. To finish, I have one last question for you. Why should what we wear be able to affect our education? Thank you.